Right down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Another edition of the Tom Likas Show on a beautiful Friday in Southern California. It is fan freaking tastic. And uh, here we are uh, again with wide open telephones on this Friday. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed this week on the air. Oh, we had a great week on the air this week. Spent a lot of time with the former governor of New York State, Elliot Spitzer. And his uh, kids, the Spitzer sisters. And among the things we talked about was the resignation of Spitzer. Why women stand by guys like Elliot Spitzer or former New Jersey Governor Jim McGreevy or Larry Craig or any of these guys. Don't get it. We even talked about how that turkey neck Dr. Laura actually said something I agreed with, which was that uh, when a guy cheats, maybe women will look inside themselves. Figure out what it is that uh, they have not been uh, contributing, not been doing. Figure out what uh, their own failures are. But there was more than Spitzer this week on the show. We also talked about... Uh, a piece called Settling for Mr. Good Enough, where Lori Gottlieb in the Atlantic Monthly said that uh, women in their 30s are going to have kids to be prepared to settle. Just, just marry somebody. Don't worry about passion or sex. Don't worry about marrying somebody you're hot for. Marry somebody who will share the child care and share the expenses with you, which is what I've been telling you women CSS all along. I'd rather uh, leave that to somebody else. There are poindexters across North America who are paying the expenses of women I once boffed. I didn't have to pay, but they are paying. Bottom line. We uh, talked about something called Black Marriage Day this week. That was one of the things we discussed. That's right. The mayor of Chattanooga, Tennessee, proclaimed Sunday, March 30th as Black Marriage Day. He wanted people who are black and married to renew their wedding vows. And he thought it was very important for more African-Americans to get married. I say African-Americans are leading the way culturally once again by rejecting marriage. We talked about the sons and uh, their Noche Latina. And uh, how did they uh, celebrate their Latino fans? They had the uh, San Antonio Spurs wear jerseys that said, Los Spurs. <laughs> and the Suns wore jerseys that said, Los Suns. And we also had a very spirit discussion on ball-busting bitches. They know who they are. And the only women who were offended by the term ball-busting bitches are women who are ball-busting bitches. And uh, finally, among the things we talked about this week, we talked about the Dear Abby column about the woman's uh, boyfriend. His name is Richie, who uh, gave her flowers, and it turned out they were from a funeral, and she was all upset that he was cheap. And I say, if women are so goddamn independent, why should it matter if a man is cheap? We can talk about any of these issues. We can discuss anything we didn't get into on the program this week. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, our bouncer, also known as our associate producer, Dean J. D'Amelio, he is Italian. He has a criminal record, and he will beat you over the head with a baseball bat if you call in here and you can't get the job done. I mean that figuratively. And that's only because he can't reach you from down here at the studio. If he could get to your place, he definitely would. So if you think you could entertain an entire nation merely by projecting the sound of your own voice, well, that's what I feel I can do. If you feel you can do it, now's the time to prove it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. As I have said on this program many times, if Helen Keller had a granddaughter who's a 9 or a 10, that's a perfect match. And by the way, honey, by the way, honey if you're out there, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs>
It's the Tom Likey Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. It's the Tom Likey Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. That is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Okay. With our wide open telephone, let's go to Sarah on the Tom Likas show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I want to know why you can't disclose where your studio is in Hollywood. Uh, well, we used to disclose where it was, and then uh, uh, CBS, uh, the company I work for, uh, got a cease and desist letter from the company that owns this studio. Oh. We were told uh, that uh, they feared uh, a connection would be implied uh, that the studio was the producer of our radio show. And they wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, the way I look at things is, you know, <laughs> I I think uh, saying your corporate name on the air a lot is a good thing. I mean, look at the people who, who pay to have something called Staple Center. Yeah. You know, or uh, other uh, venues that are sponsored by something. Uh, there are actually people who pay for that. Yeah. Now, here we were mentioning this movie studio every hour. And then uh, prob- I'm getting, I'm guessing that some female got her pantyhose in a knot here on the lot <laughs> and complained Probably. to the big wigs. And yeah. so uh, we were told we were not allowed to say the name of the studio anymore. Uh, okay. Well, most yeah, most people know. know what the name is. Because yeah, I remember what it is. <laughs> well, all right, so oh, even I you. I thought you might have moved. Can you take me out with a bong hit? Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Tom on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey there, hey Tom. I know you're talking about. Um, oh gosh, what is it? Sky. I brain farted for a second. Um, oh, um, prenuptial agreements. Yeah, there it is. Um, that you're for them. Now, I'd venture to say I'm not for them, and I'll tell you why. Because I have the ability to earn money. And I can always make it back, and I know what it takes to manage my money. If my wife wanted to divorce me, I'd give it to her all, because she didn't earn it. She doesn't know how to keep it. It's like somebody winning the lottery. Within five years, they'd be bankrupt anyway. And Why is that bankrupt. your job to provide the your hard-earned money to somebody else? But the problem is, I, I'll give you a great example. Years ago, I was in a roommate situation, and I was in a hard financial situation. And the guy wanted me out of there, and he says, if you can't leave, you know, if you can't be on this... I paid up, but he said, if you can't be out by this date, I'm going to keep all your stuff. And I said, fine. I left. Now, he's left dealing with all that heartache of where to take all the stuff once he, it was, it became his problem, and I walked away scot-free, and they had everything back. No, but the point is, I'm not saying that you can't give her things when you get divorced. I mean, uh, most women uh, buy a lot of crap you would never want to have around your house. Uh, the last time when I had a girlfriend living in my home, uh, I told her to take anything you want, take what you want. But I didn't want her having the right in writing that she owned half of everything. Because when women get angry, they may decide to take things you want. I, I, how many times have you read about divorce cases? Let me give you an example. Okay. There was a divorce case here in Los Angeles. There was a guy who had four seats at Dodger Stadium since the year Dodger Stadium opened. These were like among the best seats in the house. Mm -hmm. And he got divorced from his wife of 30 or 35 years, whatever. And, and she went after his season tickets for the Dodgers, the rights to his season tickets. She didn't take little knickknacks or bric-a-bracs that she'd collected over the years. She went after things he cared about. Okay. You can't give broads the right to do that. No, I'm not saying give them the right. What I'm saying by is... Not ha by not signing a prenup, they have the right to have... If you have four seats, two of them belong to them. Well, my thing is, if, if, if she takes it all, even if she took every dime out of my bank account... It's not just money. It's stuff. If you had four season tickets to the Dodgers in the front row, which are so hard to get, there's a waiting list that'll go beyond the day you die if you wanted to buy them. 
But if you knew how to get them in the first place, I know that you're resourceful enough. You'd get them again. Uh, no you're you're a fool. You would never get them again. You would have to sit in your two seats next to her and her new boyfriend, who you'd be paying for ultimately. That's who'd be sitting in those seats. Yeah. And you'd be sitting next to her. And that's what women do when you decide you're done with them. They will try to make your life miserable. They're also miserable in the process, though. It'd kill them before it I, I, I But, but it I would them. rather make them miserable by having them sign this document when they love me, love me, love me. And then later on when they hate me, they can hate themselves because they signed it, and now they can't take my stuff. <laughs> All right, I think I get what you're going at. Right. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. All right, have a good one. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to T on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How do you do, Tom? I do wonderfully. That's good. Well, I, I, I just had a question. What's your take on swing? You said don't get married. Marry is a no-no. Don't even attempt it. But what if you're in a relationship where, you know, you're getting as, as much ass as you possibly can, but you're sharing your wife with other couples? Why do you need to do that? I, I, this is so foreign to me. If I mean, you need you know, to bang everybody in the world, what do you need a wife for? Because because you because you get to bang other men's wives in front of them. You I can do that. Awesome. You can do that without being married. Yeah, I guess you can, but I mean, it's just safer that way, I believe. No, it's not because they're having sex with everybody else. You're not into that. If I'm into having sex with people, I don't need a wife. Well, I, I guess so. I just what do you need a wife for? Are you a little boy who's afraid of the dark? Why do you need a wife? No, it's not that I need a wife. It's just I like the perks of, of banging other wives, too. But you can do that without getting married. Yeah. Why, why do you assume you have to be married? Have you been to Craigslist? Have you been to adultfriendfinder.com? Please, there's plenty of married women out there who would love to have their husbands watch you bang them. <laughs> you know what? You are so right. What do you need to get married for? I guess you, you really don't. And by the way, what is it about banging married chicks? How about just banging chicks? Well, I, I, you can't get off on banging a woman who's, uh, who doesn't have a husband? Yeah, yeah, I guess I could, but it's just for some reason, I, I like the I like the mass majority, you know. So many you ever been to a given to a swing party? You got a gang of them. And it's just uh, by like, the way, have you have two. you ever been to one of those parties? Yes, I have. Have actually. you seen Have you seen the quality <laughs> of the people there? Actually, I have. If you go, they to are party. hideous. <laughs> These are people you wouldn't want to touch with a ten foot pole. <laughs> you know, and some of those parties, you're right. Some of them, the, the age bracket, you get from 40 all the way up to your These 50. are the old, bald, and fat. These are women <laughs> you wouldn't want to touch. That, that is correct, but there's also, you know, there's a few that, that are... That there's are, that a just, few. You know what? You, you're limiting yourself. Why, why deal with just a few when you can have the many? Uh, I guess you're right once again. I mean, I don't understand the point of limiting yourself. I want to get married, and then I want to have sex with all the other wives. Like, why do you need to be married to do that? I guess you don't. But I was just, I just want to know your take on... My take on swinging aspect. is that it, it reminds me of watching Tattletales with Burt Convy in the 1970s. <laughs> or, or, or those shows where people had hot tubs back, and they, they wore gold chains, and they sniffed cocaine, and... Or well, like those old movies from the 70s. That's what swinging reminds me of. Okay. Those hipsters wearing high karate aftershave and, you know. Oh. All right, Tom. Well, thanks a lot. Can you take me out, Kobe style? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's wide open telephones on this Friday. Vicky, hello. Hi Tom. How Hi. are you? Good. Well, I need your advice. Okay. I think I'm pregnant. How did How did that happen, Vicky? 
Um, now, I don't mean the obvious answer. You know what I mean. Yes. Um, I met this guy, and, um, well, by the way, I have a boyfriend of five years. Well, but, that's, I, I, what do we tell you about having a boyfriend when you're 17? <laughs> well, I mean, it was... It was a different thing. I don't know. You've heard that before, but whatever. We've been together. Well, for five if it was so different, you wouldn't be banging other guys, would you? Well, would you? You know, but if it was such a unique love, such a special <laughs> love, a love like no other love, Vicky. If it was a love that your parents couldn't understand, that your friends couldn't understand, that people who were older I than you. Tried telling you you're too young for this, Vicky, but you said no. This is special. It's a special kind of love, like you just told me. If it's so goddamn special, why were you effing another guy? Well, it just kind of happened. That it wasn't that special, like you thought it was. Well, that's not why I'm calling. Then we'll get to that. Oh, God. You shouldn't have had a boyfriend in the first place. But I do, so... Bad I mean, idea. I can't change that, right? Well, you can, yes. You could uh, You could well, break no. up with him. I mean, I can't do that. I mean, there's too much invested into it. I mean... What do you mean there's too much invested into it? Let's take people who invested in Enron stock, okay? One day it was 100. Oh, God. <laughs> All right? And then uh, there was 80, and there were rumors it was going to go out of business, it was 60. And people said, well, I've got too much invested. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. Right and you wait, you wait until it's down. You wait up. until one day it's down to zero and the company's out of business. I well, you never, yeah, okay. you, you cut your losses. You never have too much invested. The point is you shouldn't have invested in the first place. It's a mistake. And okay. you get out now, you get out with your dignity. You get out without having all the drama that I think you're about to uh, foment here. No, I don't want that drama. That's why I'm calling you. I don't want that drama. I, I mean, he doesn't know. Like, my boyfriend doesn't know what's going on, of course. So so then what's the question? You having an abortion? I, yes. Well, yes, I, of course, want to do that. But my question is, I mean, do I tell this guy? Like, I can't afford to go do this by myself. I mean, he, I found out later he he's married and has two kids. Oh, good for you. Good yeah, work on Thank that. You. Thank you. I'm good judgment. Mine. Well, yes. I'm glad to see no. you're so no. mature for your age. Yes. I didn't say I was mature. I didn't say that. Then, then if you're not mature, what are you doing having a boyfriend? <laughs> you, you just go back to that. I'll because be it's important. <laughs> because you know, lied I mean, to him. You lied. How many times did you have sex with the other guy? Um, so you didn't just fall into bed drunk once. You did it over a period of time, didn't you? So this was premeditated. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't a slip up. Well, after the first time, it was good. Uh, again, <laughs> back for more. That you don't, what are you, 14? No, but that's, I mean, I don't want to have a relationship with this guy. That's not I the mean, point. It's not like that. That's not the point. What is this, AshleyMadison.com? What are you talking about? Gosh. I mean, please, do you just see how cheesy this sounds? Listen, it is what it is. Like, I know... No, it is what it is. I, I totally is a, that's the biggest cop out of the world. It is what it is. Think, because, I mean, I feel bad. I feel you bad. You are really what do. you are. No, you don't. You only feel okay. bad because you got knocked up. Mm, that's true, too. Right. No, that's true, period. Well, it's not like I want to have it. You'd I mean, still be banging him. Back. You would still be banging. You would still be banging this guy behind your boyfriend's back to this day if you didn't get knocked up. If you aren't already. Well. You are, aren't you? No, not right now. What do you mean not right? Not <laughs> what? Not at not at three twenty nine Pacific time. You're not what? No, I haven't seen him in a while. Like, what? Three days. No, like a week. Ooh, a whole week. But I didn't do anything with him then, so... Yeah, but you would. No. Why I not? Didn't. Why? Yeah, and when he asks you why you won't have sex with him, what do you tell him? No, he doesn't ask me that. He well, didn't ask he me that. will. If he sees you enough times and you don't have sex with him, he's going to ask. What will your answer be? I'm in love. <laughs> You're in love with who? No. Well, the, I, I mean, I'm not going to do anything with this other guy anymore. 
Obviously, I mean. What do you mean I, obviously? I, it's not obvious. It is. It is obvious. No, yes. it's not. Why? I mean, why, why was it okay to have sex with them before you knew you were knocked up, and not okay now? Well, because then it, it was just like fun, but now I mean, it's like he's married, has two kids. So what? You have a boyfriend. But I don't have kids. Doesn't I'm, matter. I'm not married. I, I mean, you know, I am. I am just amazed at where people's morals and principles come from. Uh, I mean, you 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 have absolutely none. I I have none. Yes, I do. None. Oh, my God, Tom. That is so mean. It's true. Accept the truth. And you see, you can only fix your life if you accept that. Take responsibility for what you've done. I, I have. You screwed somebody else's husband who has kids. Behind the back know, of the boyfriend you... So behind the back of the boyfriend you supposedly love. I know. And now you're going to continue lying to your boyfriend because you're going to continue seeing him and never tell no. him what happened. No, I'm not going to see him anymore. Well, you're not going to see your boyfriend anymore? No, my boyfriend, I'm going to see him. So you're going to continue gonna lying him, I'm to him. him? Oh, I slept with this guy. Huh? Like, you're going to tell him? I'm pregnant and I. No. That's no. right. But even if you didn't tell him you were pregnant, you're going to lie to him now for the rest of your relationship. You've been lying to him about where you are, what you're doing. You've been lying about uh, whether you uh, are faithful to him or you love only him or whatever questions he might ask you. You've been lying to him, and you're going to continue lying to him. So what, I should be honest with him, you're saying? You, I'm not <laughs> telling you what you should do. I'm just simply telling you that you have no morals or scruples. Well, I do have No, to. you don't. Um, no, don't. you're in denial. I, you don't. If I didn't, then I would be honest with him and hurt his feelings and... Donna, hurting, telling him would not hurt his feelings. Effing, an, effing another man is what hurts his feelings. Okay, I know that, but... But it Donnie felt good. But that. it felt good, and so you did it. But you love your boyfriend, but you also love effing other people. Not other people. Just no, just one person. So it's okay, because it's it only one. Work. No, it didn't happen once. You already admitted that. Well, I mean, like... Don't try to change the story. I'm not saying, oh, it happened once with him. I'm saying it only happened with one guy. Only one guy. <laughs> well, why don't we call him up and tell him that right now? Honey, I had sex with someone else, but it was only one person. Let's tell him. No, I don't want to ruin his night. Oh, you'd be rude. No, you're... You know, and by the way, don't be so disingenuous with me. You'd be ruining your night. And the reason you'd be no, rooting... You know why you'd be no, rooting... You know why you'd be ruining your night? You know why you'd be ruining your night? Because he'd kick your ass out. That's why no, you'd be... The he only wouldn't. reason... Let's tell him right now. Let's find out. I'm not going to tell yeah, him. Yeah, you're not going to tell him. You're afraid of hurting yourself. You're not afraid of hurting him. You're afraid that he's going to say, Get lost, you slut. No, he wouldn't. Oh, but the, why wouldn't you tell him? I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you're not going to do no. it because you you know what you're going to get. He'd throw you out in a second. He wouldn't think twice about it. And I couldn't blame him. Not true. Oh, yes. I'm not going to tell him on, like... The radio, like why not? Because he'd be upset. He wouldn't. Oh no! Because I'll be. I will be here to comfort him. I. You know what? I will be here. I will hook him up. You know what I will do? I will hook him up with so many women. When we're done, he'll never feel bad. I can guarantee you, he'll feel a lot better than he does right now. Yeah. You think I can't? No, I'm not saying. I've got women out there right now waiting to comfort him. Just go down the list, right? That's right. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> he will believe me. He won't be sad. He'll only be sad between the time you tell him and the time he gets to the studio. After that, he won't be sad anymore. Listen, he doesn't need those other girls. So. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> Why? Well, he needs somebody while you're out banging the other guy. Uh, that we can hook him up just for those times. No. Or if, when, the next time you meet somebody you want to have sex with. I'm not going to meet anyone else. Oh, no. That's what you thought when you first became his girlfriend. I love like, you. It was just different then. I Darling, that is the reason you shouldn't have a boyfriend. Because you should have had different experiences first. Get them out of your system. And then when you get them out of your system, you have a shot at having a monogamous relationship. Okay, but you so did when you're the young, like, you don't think about stuff like that. I'm still young. But well, I all right, so you're immature. 
you don't have the necessary experience, and having a boyfriend is just wrong. It's wrong because you can't keep your pants on. I can keep them on. No, you can't. <laughs> Okay, well, you weren't very much helpful. What am I supposed to help you with? <laughs> you're having an abortion. You're going to continue lying to your boyfriend, and you, you claim you're going to stop seeing the, the guy you're effing on the side. Well, and that's I only will. that's only because no, he had the I gall to. not to tell you he had a wife and two kids. Does he know about your boyfriend, by the way? Yes. He does. Yeah, I told him. When he, we first met, and he asked me for my number, I told him I had a boyfriend. Uh-huh. And... You know, he didn't tell me that he... So why does her. it matter? Well, I mean, since I'm, you don't love him, and since it's all about sex, why well, does no, it matter if he has a wife? I mean, no, because I, I feel bad for her, because I would... Like, oh, so yeah, you feel bad for her, but you don't feel bad for your boyfriend, do you? <laughs> I mean, I... Listen, there's like... You don't feel you bad for him? Know, what's his first name? You. What's his first name? I'm not going to know. Come on, we don't know. We don't know if Vicky is even your name. What's his first name? What let's is it? Say his name is Todd. No, let's not say his name is Todd. Just tell us what his first name I, is. I'm not going to. There's, die. A, there's I, a billion I, people with his name. Okay. Well, exactly. We'll just say his name is Todd. Why does it matter well, what his name is? <sighs> because his it's name more. Because it will have more effect on you. What I'm about to say and the way I'm about to say. It. Listen, it already has effect. Oh, it hasn't affected you at all. Oh You're God. an arrogant little tart, is what you are, who goes out banging other people and justifying it and saying it's okay because it was only one guy. I guess you're right. And you don't even have the scruples to tell your boyfriend that you've been unfaithful to him. Instead, you're going to pretend it's this nice little fairy tale romance. When, when in reality, you're cruising out there taking other guys' phone numbers and looking for action. I don't take anyone's phone oh, number. Oh, please. Please, I don't. <laughs> you just took this guy's phone number. No, he took my number. I don't care. Oh, come on. I mean... What is the difference? Hey. I get it. I, I don't know. You, what, you expect me to feel sorry for you? No... You expect anybody listening to this show to feel sorry for you? No, I don't. I just like I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Like it's just this. What do you mean you don't know what to I do? Didn't, like I never thought this would happen. I well, mean, never thought what would happen. Like I would be getting an abortion. Like wow. Well, you earned it. Yeah, I worked hard for it. Huh? You earned it. You you got what's coming to you. Gee, I guess you could lie to your boyfriend further and tell him he's the father like so many others. I think that would be a little obvious <laughs> when it comes out. Why is that? <laughs> well, my boyfriend is white and the guy that I slept with is black. So. Oh, there you go. So, I, I think that's so that's the only reason lie. you're having an abortion, because you might have a black baby. <laughs> right? No, because I don't want a baby at all. Yeah, what kind of birth control were you using when you had sex with this guy? Condom. But I don't use birth control with my boyfriend. I mean, Why not? Because I've never gotten pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you see, that's not the kind of thing you can fix once you've gotten pregnant. It, you, the reason you don't use birth control is because you want to have a baby with your boyfriend. No, we don't. You'd like to have a white baby with your boyfriend. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I want a pure white baby. <laughs> Obviously, that's what you want. Because uh, because uh, here you're having an abortion, but you told us it's because the guy is black. No, I did not say that. You said, why don't you have the baby? And I said, I think that would be a little obvious. So, in other words, if, I want, if I your boyfriend, I what would happen if your boyfriend knocked you up? I would have an abortion then, too. Mm. <laughs> so Maybe. what's the problem? I, why are you saying I never thought I would have an abortion? Because. You don't I mean, use like, birth control. Can I tell you something as an adult? Condoms. condoms are 95% effective. Do you know what 95% effective means? Uh, one out of every 20 times you're going to get pregnant. Well, I, this is my one time, I guess. Uh, but, but again, dear, uh, if you only use condoms and don't use any birth control, you are going to be having an abortion. Uh, or a baby. Why don't you use think about. Why don't you use one of the 11 forms of birth control available to you? I don't know, okay? I don't I, know I, I, is not a good enough answer. You see, you're not an adult. I am not talking to an adult. I'm talking to a little baby. 
I'm, I'm not. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I, I am. I use it because I just, I, like I told you, I've been in a relationship for five years. I mean, I've never gotten pregnant. That doesn't mean anything. Fine. It doesn't mean it won't happen. You know what? You could, you could cross the street on the red light a hundred times, and if you didn't get hit by a car, do you I think know. that means you would never get hit by a car? Okay, so like, what if you jump out of if you jump out a ten story if you jump out a ten story window and you survive, would you keep jumping out a ten story okay, window? Okay, so I'll start taking birth control now, and then my boyfriend will be like, "Why are you taking birth control? You're sleeping around." And no, you're going to tell him it's because you don't want to have a baby. Well, I will definitely look into that now. I mean. <laughs> I guess I should have done it in the past, but... Yes, you should have. Yeah. And you wouldn't be in this position now. Exactly. So. And what exactly changed about your morality that you'll never do this again? Well, let's see. Um, I might be pregnant. I. That's the only reason? No, I mean, I'm being just honest. So at no I'm point in friend. time did you say, you know what, this was wrong to do. Because you think it was right no, to I do. I have. I have thought that. Right. Yeah, well, you haven't exactly said it. But, well, I mean, it was wrong. I'm not saying no, it No, you wrong. said it was right and it was good. And that's why you kept doing it, because it was so good. Well, because it was fun at first, but then it became... So how do we know you won't do it again? And the answer is, we don't. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 I was just like that one guy that was waiting around for that one girl forever and then it occurred to me why there's tons and tons of girls out there if one doesn't give it up to you many more will you know you just gotta find them and make it happen right why waste your time on one girl it's the Tom Likas Show 97.1 free FM SoCal's FM talk station Tom Likas Show on 1-800-5-800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Alec on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Alec. Um, well, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you very much for guiding me through my high school experience. Not a problem. I'm 17 right now. Already going to be finishing up uh, college transfer units. Very good. I got my degree. And... Uh, Without you, I think I probably would have been behind in credits uh, and maybe behind in alimony payments. Oh, Jesus. No, uh, but, uh, yeah, first of all, all thanks aside, um, I did want to bring up the governor today and uh, these supposed cutbacks are going to be coming and closing down all the schools. Let's point out, because uh, we're on in other states other than California, you're talking about California. Yes. And you're talking about Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, I've been driving around between the La Habra and Whittier area and just see uh, lots of little, little petitions everywhere. Um, a lot of moms, maybe a, an emergency flash Friday might need to be called into place. But, um, yeah, uh, what, your, what are your thoughts on this? Because I, myself, want to be a teacher in the arts once I get through uh, school, and I don't know how to take this because uh, more and more the arts are being cut back and education programs. Yeah, I mean, uh, if it were me, I wouldn't recommend that uh, course of endeavor because uh, that's going to continue to shrink. You right, know? but is uh, is there any way, uh, you know, Californians could get together um, to put money back into the program? It's highly or... unlikely. The state of California is broke. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's beyond broke. We, what do we have, a $17 billion deficit here? I mean, we're broke. Now, granted, there are probably other things we could be cutting. And the bastards who run California are spending money on their own little pet projects, and that's not going to change. Uh, well, it's, it's better than uh, than hookers. Well, not necessarily. Frankly, I'd rather they spend money as long as their own money on hookers than to spend our money on pet projects and then having to cut back on things like police and fire department and libraries and uh, infrastructure repair and, of course, education. But... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the arts, and the, especially music, first thing to go when they are cutting at schools. First thing to go. Mm. You'd be better off getting involved in something that is a private sector venture of some kind. 
Yeah, you know, it just sucks for everybody like myself who love the arts and, you know, theater and education and all that. Not too much I can do uh, till I'm a voter. Well, but the, here's the thing. You, well, you, why can't you find something in the private sector? Mm, well, what would you suggest to, to people that want to be, uh, you know, in the field of, like, acting like myself? Acting? <laughs> Yeah, I know it's kind of far-fetched, but... I suggest um, you have the same chance of winning if you played the lottery. That's what I would suggest. The Tom Likas Show.